Sports Desk. This year, Big Ten football will look entirely different than anything we have seen before for a variety of reasons. From the addition of the four West Coast teams to both Michigan State and Michigan having new head coaches. Jonathan Smith and some players stepped up to the podium at the Big Ten football media days today down at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, which is where we also find our Ian Kress and Tyler Driesinger who are standing by live with more on what the Spartans had to say today. Hey guys. Hey Haley, yeah, with all the off-field issues Michigan State had last season centered around former head coach Mel Tucker and then the on-field issues they had going 4-8, and eight, after talking with the players today here at Big Ten Football Media Days, it's safe to say the players are ready to move on. Yeah, it's time to turn the page and Jonathan Smith is hoping the new chapter starts by creating cohesion between the two groups of Spartans, those who were already here and those that he brought with him. Yeah, and for junior returning defensive back Dylan Tatum, he was very open with us today about about why he is buying into the culture Smith has brought to East Lansing. I think we like each other a lot more. <laughs> uh, it, it was really hard last year, a lot of new guys, and but I think it was a lot of guys that were here just chasing bag or something. And I don't see that a lot this year. A lot of good people that are willing to, you know, put your their first foot forward, or put their face in the fan for a guy and, and go tackle the guy as hard as they can all because they trust the dude behind them. We've had some new guys that arrive this summer, right? And so some guys that have been here, new additions in January, new additions in the summer, we need to come together and, uh, and really build a, a unified team that uh, gives you the best chance to win. Now Tatum is from the state of Michigan. He graduated from West Bloomfield High School and said he saw the Spartans as a kid win two Big Ten titles here on this field at Lucas Oil Stadium. Yeah, and tonight at 11 we'll share why he feels a sense of responsibility to kind of protect MSU's reputation as a strong contending program in the Big Ten and avoid some of the shortcomings that have plagued the last couple of seasons. But for now, reporting live from Lucas Oil Stadium, I'm Tyler Driesinger. And I'm Ian Kress for Six Sports.